nylon, typically they will have nylon. Nylon's fine. Nylon, yeah, polypropylene is awesome. Nylon's better. Poly's the best. Nylon's better. Brass is okay. So you're going to have two of these. Do not use steel. Yeah, don't use steel. Get yourself a pack of, you're going to need hose clamps anyhow. Get yourself a pack of hose clamps. Okay. Some PVC glue. This is three quarter slip to three quarter thread. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your PVC pipe, go over to your drum, and make it, you know, slightly longer than your drum. It doesn't have to be the same exact depth. Make it a little deeper than your drum. So I'm going to cut it like right here. Okay? Matt, you hold this in for me. So we're going to go ahead and... Cut our piece of PVC pipe. Then what you need to do then, so it doesn't suck straight down on the bottom of the tank, is go ahead and put a little angle cut on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so you got a nice little angle cut on the bottom. So when it goes to the bottom of the tank, it can still suck. You don't want to go to the bottom of the tank and do that. Suck it off. Okay? Yeah. It'll suck just not really good. <laughs> or it'll suck really good. But it won't get fluid. Get get fluid. Get okay? All right? And you're going to have this three quarter. Basically, you're going to put that on there. So when you put this down in the tank, your hose doesn't have to go up and loop in this way. It's got a 90 on it with thread. Okay, so we're going to glue this little part here. That's been $4 for one little itsy bitsy piece of glue. <laughs> okay. I'll try to do it over here off the edge of the truck so I don't get rain and shine glue all over this truck. I always like the rain and shine glue. It makes it work good. You're the reason why I have to show my ID to buy glue. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yep. There he's a hopper. <laughs> we know he's getting a soft washing now purely for the smell of the bleach. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we need some Teflon tape. We have any Teflon tape around here, Machine? I have, like, uh, that Teflon You have some Teflon tape? Yeah. Awesome. Pause. <laughs> okay. Man. So now on one of these, we got this quick connect that's going to fit right up into here. Okay? We're going to thread it right up on. How it stands. Okay? It's traveling boom bugs. We're going to take, put our T tape around our fitting. It's all three quarter, yep, yeah, except for the hose is five eighths. Three quarter thread. I'm going to get my wrench real quick. Is there a wrench on that sales rack? I left it there. Yep. Well said. <laughs> hey, now this is invaluable, guys. You can make a really long one of these because sometimes you go to the pull supplies and they'll have the big 1500 gallon tanks. Not today. They have the big 1500 gallon tanks, and if you have a big old 12 foot piece of PVC, you can put this down in the 1500 gallon tank because they got the little itsy bitsy jerry jug things. They're only filling the little two and a half gallon jugs. We want 100 gallons, you know? So you take a big piece of PVC, drop it at the top of their big tank, and use your multi tap to draw from their tank at seven gallons a minute. How long will it take to fill a 100 gallon tank? Not long. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our 
a little section of hose here. You can just buy them in little sections like this. Everybody says, well, how long of a hose should I have? Well, it depends. But this is how this is how Matt fills his tanks every single morning into his trucks. He doesn't even have a gravity feed tank situation. Normally, they put a bulkhead fitting on the bottom of the tank, and you grab your feed. And how much bleach you have is how much pressure you get through your line. We don't even rely on that anymore with these systems. We've built these systems where they'll do just about everything but wipe your butt. I'm pulling out the top. Yep. Okay, so we're going to come in here. You're going to put your hose clamp on. <laughs> no, they have a, a clamp that you can just crimp down on. Yeah. And it's, it's so much better than, than those because I get cut on those. I get cut on them too, but when you get the bleach in the wound, it feels really good and stinks. <laughs> oh, no. So. Clean it out. That's right. Stink, you know? <laughs> but so we're going to put a hose clamp on that one. We're going to come around here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a hose clamp on this one. Put this here. My beautiful assistant, Vanna, will come in here and <laughs> tighten that on for me. <laughs> Here, turn around, Vanna, so they can see you tightening it. Because nobody knows how to tighten one of those. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, dude, I just want the roof rescue you yeah. know, emblem in the video. <laughs> 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 That's right. He's going to show off his guns. <laughs> you got that one? Okay. You got this one here. Now, this is suction line, so you don't really need to absolutely have... The hose clamp's on, but I find that the hose clamps just keep any air leaks from happening. If you're like Vic and you got those lily white hands and you always get cut by the hose clamps, you can wrap them with some tape. Or even some of the, uh, the, the, the bat tape and stuff like that, baseball bats. Now, the really cool, fun thing that we're going to get to do now is, we have our cap off yet? Yeah. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to drop this down into your 55-gallon drum. Put your mouth on the other end. <laughs> okay. We're going to hook this up to the multi-tap. Okay. I'm going to get all the water out of the back tank real quick because we don't want water mixed in with our bleach. So we're going to take, we want to take all of our water out of the 100 gallon tank, send it to the 50, so the drum is going to point towards the 100. We're going to get rid of all the water in that tank, turn on our pump. And we'll know that tank's empty when what happens? Air in the line. We start getting air in the line. And we can see the air because why? Clear hoses. all clear hoses. Not that yeah, yellow and orange yeah, yeah. PCO oh, crap that everybody tries to sell you. Right. Okay. What size was that PVC pipe? Hmm? What size was that PVC Three pipe? Three-quarter inch. How do you describe that hose? Braided hose. Braided? Yeah. Thank Five you. Five-eighths clear braided hose. Five-eighths? Five-eighths. Thank you, Red. Huh? Meanwhile, back at the farm. Yeah. Hands on it. Looks like you're getting ready to get here. Now I can see air coming through my line up there, so I don't want the pump to totally get air in the head. Now, before. Two times during the day, you're going to want to completely turn off your throttle valve. Okay, this remember this is the one we use to adjust our pressures here. We don't want when we're transferring bleach, we don't want the throttle valve to bypass it into any of the tanks. And at the end of the day, when you're washing out your system and you've hooked up your garden hose there, you don't want to draw any any of your bleach wash solution back into any of your tanks. So basically, when you're using the multi-tap. 
you're going to come down here and you're going to lock that down closed. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on multi-tap. I'm going to put this on recirculate. So now we're drawing from the multi-tap. We're in recirculate mode, so it's not going to the hose reel. We come around here. We want it to all go to the 100 gallon tank. So I'm going to take and I'm going to point both of these valves towards the 100 gallon tank. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that 30 gallons of bleach and where's it going to go? Okay. To the big tank. Okay? So everybody come over here and watch this hose and. You already see it coming through. Yeah, when, when all the air comes out of it, when the air, when the hose is full, it'll suck a 55-gallon drum in about. We weren't on the bog. What? About 10 minutes. Yeah. Not even. Not, not even. Not yeah, even. seven times seven is what? Forty. Nine. Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Yeah. Seven minutes. A whole 55-gallon drum. So now, when you go to pick up your bleach, 55-gallon drums, you just tell them to set them both by the gate. You pull over your truck. You stick your multi tap in there. You suck them both right. You go, okay, I'm leaving. Pick up the drums. Do they have to load them in the back of your truck? No. Do you have to figure out where to put them in your house? I did every time. That's nice. That is so cool. That eliminates the deposit. Sometimes I think I should have just got a camera. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's it's three quarters, just had a lot of air on the tank. Here, get, getting ready to go. With a tripod, man. You'll hear the pump will kind of kick in. 